In the last video, we implemented a tab controller for our tabs down here to allow us to navigate between different controller views or different view controllers. And as you can see, there's a bit of a change with the app here compared to how I left off in the last video. Now between the last video and this video, I've gone ahead and I've added in a couple of extra view controllers here. And I've associated those view controllers with the tabs. So if I move this to the side, you'll see that I have a favorites view controller, a recents view controller, and a, the second view controller. Now I place that into the third position and you can see that I'm using a custom image here. And we're also using our second as the title. So you'll see that on this left hand side we have favorites and recents that's using the system icons. And let me show you what that looks like in the code. So again, we have three different views here. And in our second view controller, we're setting that tab bar item to use a init with title. So if we look up tab bar item in our documentation here, we have the option to init with title. And the title will be a string, of course, and R says second, and we can customize that how we wish. Then we need a UI image. So I actually copied and pasted the Objective-C code here. So we need an image that is a UI image, and I've gone ahead and I've placed that image into our resources directory on this uh, left-hand side. And then I've tagged this as the third item on that tab bar there. And again, if we go to the view, the main view controller, sorry, not the main view controller, but the favorites controller, we'll see that I'm using a system icon. So it's initiate with tab bar system icon. And the recent is doing the same thing here. Okay. And so as a result, we're getting the three different tabs on the bottom here. And if I go back, it'll take me to the main view. Now, what I want to do is I want to change the way this this behaves. So instead of clicking, having to click on the add to do and then navigating between it, navigating between the three different view controllers here, I kind of want to add the main controller as a tab down here and then just bring those that tab bar into our main view controller. So let's look at how we would do that. So what we can do is we'll check out the main tab bar controller here and we'll add in the main view controller to our array. And what I'll do is I'll go to the second view controller and I'm just going to copy this here and I'm going to paste that into our main view controller. Okay, that way I can use a custom image. I'm just going to use the same image. I'll change this to one, then I'll change the favorites to three. So this will be the third position. I'll save that, go to recents. This will represent the second position. And lastly, we have the second view controller, which will represent the fourth position. Okay, now what I wanna do is instead of placing that, so instead of pushing that through uh, to the second view controller, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I've actually created a to-do view controller here as one of the samples. And you can see this in the get repository. I'll go ahead and I'll make sure I commit that so you guys have those files. And you'll see that it's it says, or it has one label on it that says you can add a to-do here. So I'm going to replace the, the action here. If we go back to our main view, I'm going to replace this with to do view controller. So if they click on that add to do, it'll actually take them to the to do view controller instead of that, that second view controller. Now what I'll do is since I initiated the main view controller inside our app delegate, I'll go to our app delegate here. And I'm going to see if I can place that into right here. So main tab view or main tab bar controller. And let's cross our fingers that this works. And so we'll start it up and it should push us onto the main view controller here. Okay, great. So it is pushing us onto the main view controller. And then we have the favorites, recent, second, main. Okay. 
So that is great. So what I'm noticing here actually is, if I go back to that, is the navigation controller is no longer showing our title. So we might have to move this and call that within the tab bar area. So I'll go ahead and now just not sure what's happening there. Let me let me do that. Okay. I'll close that out and I'll do it for each one of these. And let's see if that helps show that title again. So I'm going to rerun that simulator and see if that works for us. Okay, great. So it does bring back the title. That's exactly what we want it to do. So it has main, favorites, recent, and second. Awesome. So now what I want to do is instead of, okay, so that to do works as well. So instead of having that to do button there, I kind of want to move that add to do into the nav bar up here where the title is. So what I did was I did a little bit of research in uh, via Safari in the documentation. So if I pull up my Safari browser here, we'll see navigation bar. So that's what I want to customize. I want to put a button up there. So on the implementation, we have bar button items. Okay, so you need to, let's see the bar button item documentation here. Customize the appearance. Okay, so I want to place it, I want to place a button on this right hand side that says add. Okay, so under, okay, you need to customize buttons in standard places in the UI navigation item. Okay, right bar button item. I believe that's what I'm looking for here. So I'll click on that UI navigation item and I'll scroll down. Okay, just skimming through that. Customizing views. Okay, so I'm not sure what I just did. <laughs> Let me go back and see if I can fix that. So back. Yeah, item. Okay, I want to set the right bar item. Okay, so you need when you set the right bar item, you need a bar button item, and that bar button item. Okay, so let's let's jump into our controller. A navigation item. It doesn't really say where to place the navigation item. Uh, I'm guessing because I wanted to show up on this specific controller that it's going to be in the view controller. So I'm going to go to the main view controller. And in the load view, let's, let's start something up. So I believe it'll be here. So navigation item. Okay, so that is definitely where it is and one way to check actually is if I use p self methods and that's going to go ahead and that's going to place some of the methods into the um, into the runner into the terminal so if I run it again once it loads this view it should show me the methods that are available to this view so it's going to run it and then Boom, we have all of this text in here. So one thing that I love about this IDE is if I use Command F, I can search through it. So navigation, navigation item. Awesome, so navigation item does show up in there. So we can go ahead and pass that through. So what we'll do is we'll take self that navigation, navigation item. And then you can, oops. Then you can pass in that set bar button item. Okay, so let's see if RubyMine has autocomplete. So set right. Is that what it had? Set right bar button item. Set right bar button item. And it needs to have an, uh, an item and. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and the way it looks is that you need an item and then you need animated. And that'll set to I'll set that to true. Okay? 
And then we need an item in here. So I do bar button item. So UI bar button item dot UI bar button item init with system custom view. Let's initiate that with a title. Okay, so initiate with title. Let me make sure that I put alloc here. Initiate with title. We need a title, style, target, and action. Okay, this might be better to just put this in a variable. So I'm going to put this in a button, uh, right button, top right button. I'll just use that right button. So right, right button equals UI bar button item, allocate init with title. And just so I don't have to go back and forth here, I'm going to copy and paste that objective C code up here. Okay. Okay, great. So we got the title it needs to be a string. I want it to be add because we're going to be adding a to do. The style should be a bar button style. So if we go back here, let's go bar button item style. Look at the objective C. And just to get Swift out of the way here, we'll just select object Objective C, and then a plane. So close when tapped. Default item. Let's just use a default item. Then plane is plane will do. Bar button plane. Target. Well, we're gonna target this controller. So we'll do self and action. I don't want it to take any action as of yet. So let's test this out, see if that works. I'm going to recompile it and run our simulator again. And let's cross our fingers that this does work. Awesome. So it does add an, um, an add button into our navigation bar. So pretty sweet. Okay, so what we want to do next is have this actually take an action. So we'll do an add to do. And then we'll create the method for this action. Actually, I'll just rename that second controller to add to do. Oh, you know what? Because I might change that in the future, I'll just duplicate this code and then I'll do that. So it'll basically do the same thing, but just in case I want to change the action of that button and you know what, we'll just have it do the same thing. Add to do, and we can change that at a later time. So add to do, and we'll remove this. And let's rerun it, and let's see what happens. Add to do, okay, it takes us to to do, add, awesome. So that now takes us to the add to do page. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and get rid of that. But for now, I'll just leave it through. So we have all of this working. We have that button at the top. And let's just add a button on the left-hand side. Uh, and just to confirm, I'm switching over. So the add button actually disappears on the other controllers, which is great. So it's only applying to our main controller. Let's, let's duplicate this. Duplicate this code. This will be left button and this would just be I'm just gonna put delete and it won't go to any action it'll just kinda stay there and then navbar button this will be set left bar button item and then this will be left okay so let's run that and see if that works Perfect. So if we click it, nothing happens. We click add, it takes us to the add to do. All right, so that's working great. I think this is pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.